Hi, Steve here. In this video, I want to show you how the percentage dutching cloud version works. Now, it's, it's pretty well identical to how the Excel version works, except you don't need Excel. And the good thing with the cloud version is wherever you are, you can log into your account and continue on where you left off. So you, if you're on your phone, down at the pub or the golf course having a few bets, the great thing with this is you don't do stupid bets. If you want to stick to this, you can um, continue a series on your phone and then switch to your tablet and then be back at home and get onto your PC laptop and continue. And the results are all contained in it. So you've got normality and a peace of mind when you're placing your bets that you're not doing stupid bets and then when you are betting that it's to a pattern. Okay, percentage betting, what is it? It's We set a target. In this case here, an example I'm going to show you, we set a target of 100 now, if we only have one horse, if we only put one horse in for the race, then, and it's say at fives, then we'll be putting on 20 pound, or tw let's say pounds, 20 pounds to get a 100 pound target. Now, of course, the 100 pound is not all profit. We've got to take our stake off it. If we're using uh, betting exchange, we have to take our commission off it as well. So keep in mind, you're not going to win 100 but you'll get 100 less your costs. If we have two horses, then there'll be obviously less profit coming back, and I'll show you that in a second. Commission, I've got it at 10 here because I've been using this on the Australian Racing and Australian Gallops or any codes. The commission is different right across the board. The highest commission is 10, and that's why I leave it at 10 if you're bidding Australian horse racing. Now, the threshold is 80%. 80 uh, you can change that. If I put 80% and I'm putting in, say, four horses and they go over 80%, then the last horse doesn't get included in the Dutch because it's going to push it over the threshold and, of course, you, your profit is going to be a lot less. We have a mild recovery, and it is mild, and uh, I use the mild recovery, or you can just turn around and say no, and you just want to do every time you do a race or an event, then it is only... Uh, betting to get that target of 100, nothing else. But I like, as I said, the mild recovery comes in handy. Rounding and no rounding is if you are betting on betting exchanges or you can bet odd amounts, you leave no rounding. But if you're betting with bookies or the total that, you may have to have 50p or 50 cents, then you do that. And it, it, all that does is it works out the stake in, round, in, in the rounded numbers and that. But as I'm using Betfair, I just use no rounding. And then always pays to put uh, a title. So the title, the reason you put a uh, name in is, is so that if you come down here, you can see what that relates to, especially if you're continuing. You may have two bets um, today, and then tomorrow you come back and you want to continue that series. So that's why you need to make it a name that makes sense to you, okay? So in this case, we're going to put uh, top three. So what we're doing, just for the point of this exercise, so we're going to look at the top three in betting, providing they're over threes. Okay, so we've done all that. So now we push submit, and we come to the actual pages where we start doing our work. So these are all, in the green here, these are all the settings that we just put in. We have a graph here, which has got nothing on it until we start having some bets. And then we have the home, which will take us back to where we were. Reset if we want to clear all this and restart again. And new race, we click at the end of each race. So for example here, let's look at race one. We can put in the horse name. We'll just put in a name for example. And then we put the price. Say top hat is at 380. And, uh, and then we've got... Um, might be at uh, 590 so I'll put one more in you've also 10 as well let's just change one of these prices to get this down a bit Okay, so now you can see there U-Bolt has dropped off the end because 
our percentages at set with the four horses is at 72.4 now U-Bolt say we really like U-Bolt but um, so what we can do is we can right click here and select this horse when I click on it it'll turn blue and takes it up to the top apart from that horse everything else is in odds order okay so you can see end of the line now has dropped out and um, so our percentage cumulative percentage is 60, 60 well nearly 70 percent say for example in this case here top hat wins so we come over here and we put win top hat wins the actual price we got so sometimes if, the, if you're bidding on total and that the price may change so you can put the change price in here and then we can see here the race profit was 30 uh, pounds and after commission we made 27 pounds clear and we can see the graph now is depicting the 27 pounds okay so that's the first race gone then we go up to put new bet and we've got race two so I won't put uh, for the sake of time I won't put the horse's name in but we can put in 5.4 we just we can put them in in any order we can put as soon as we put a lower price one in the line it gets taken up to the top as you can see there and 8.4 so now let's say for example in this race here we don't get a winner so we don't have to put anything in here if we don't get a winner we just come up to new race click on new race gives us a new race and you can see there now we're making an actual loss there of 29 and we can see the graph there that was the winning bet that's the losing bet and that this is the overall guide telling us where we exactly where we are in the series of bets so that is how it works and uh, it's if we've got a mild recovery I'll just show you now how the mild recovery works so I've just popped in the same odds that we had above here but you can see now because we're in mild recovery you can see like the first horse at three 380 now we're staking 42 pounds on it whereas in the original staking we were only looking at 26 this is because this one up here was only shooting for a hundred target this is shooting for a hundred target plus um, uh, a little bit of recovery to try and cover this loss here which was 56 say for example uh, this one we get a winner here you'll see that we don't recover the whole of the 56 but you can see there we're back in profit now because we, we're staking 56 percent same as up here but a higher amount so when we get the winner there, we, we make a profit there of 115.49, but of course we've got to take these off as well. So, and the staking. So here's where we're running now. We're running a total return of, we're in 31 pound profit after three races, and you can see the graph starting to take shape. If we go here that's it. and then we just carry on to the next race and you can go if we click on home it will keep it down here down the bottom just move this camera down a bit this is the series we're doing here you can see that it's carrying over the amount here if we wanted to resume on something we can click on resume and you can see here this one here this is one that's had about 35 36 bets and we can see how it's been progressing through to make it's uh, 352 pounds profit over these 36 bets these obviously these ones below here are losing duchess and these one up above are the winning duchess okay so if we wanted to we could just put new race and we could continue on this one here Okay, so that's how simple that it is to use the the percentage dutching. You can have one horse, two horse, three horses, or you're using larger odds. You can go up to six. And the other thing I was going to show you too, um, if we just do back home, we can always we can also do correct score. If you like doing football, we can do a correct score there. Submit, and we could look at. Um, Zero, 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 001 you could look at probably maybe depending on the odds maybe the top five 
or whatever you've got a selection method if you're using soccer monitor then you can look at uh, the best odds in that using something like that software of ours so you can just work uh, whoops got a star in there so something like that and then you've got the price to so say nil nils at um, 12 this one's at 7.8 the away team's favorite um, so this is just giving it an idea here so you can see there now with those uh, five scores we're only at 41% of a market so say for example the score was nil nil we can go in here and put a win and you can see there we've made um, 58 it says race but it's 58 on the event and our event profit is 52 so you can see what you can do with it um, it's plenty of opportunities to do a lot of things and as I said you can have it on your PC or you can have it on your laptop or you can use it on your phone it's because it's a website is all you're accessing with your username and password so anywhere you've got internet access then you can use the cloud version okay so everything that's written about the uh, spreadsheet version is applicable to the cloud and vice versa so um, we have noticed in, in the past quite a few people have brought both the spreadsheet and the cloud versions of our softwares because of convenience and if they are uh, traveling about they don't have to lug a laptop and they can just do it on their tablet or phone so I hope you enjoyed this video on percentage dutching and can see uh, some use for it in your punting during the week and months to come so on behalf of Michael and myself Steve thanks for watching this video and we hope that you get involved or if you are involved, we hope that you got a bit clearer use on how to use the Dutch percentage software. Thank you.